Hello grade 12s. In this lesson, we'll focus on acid-base titrations. This is the process carried out on an acid or base of unknown concentration in order to determine volume or concentration of that acid or base. When a titration is conducted, a standard solution of an acid is used to neutralize a solution of a base of unknown concentration. This is done in order to determine the volume or the concentration of that base. If the volume or the concentration of an acid is unknown, a standard solution of a base can be used to titrate the acid. Remember, weak acids or weak bases do not dissociate completely. Titrations between the two are rarely done since the endpoints are difficult to determine. Tracy will take us through an acid-base titration. Over to you, Tracy. What we're going to do now is we're going to look at a titration from a molecular point of view. Now, we didn't do a physical titration, but this is such a nice setup. The difference here is that the base, however, is in the burette. The acid is in the conical flask. It doesn't make a difference. We know the solution. We know the concentration of the sodium hydroxide solution. You have to know the concentration of one of them when you start. The nice thing is there is uses a pH meter. Great way to do these. You, you would either do this with a with an indicator which changes color, which is much better, but that's okay. Now what we're going to do is, and I specifically want you to look at the bottom right hand side of the screen where it shows you how the molecules change, okay? So we're gonna begin the titration and I'm gonna add five mils of sodium hydroxide and if you look carefully at the right, you saw a little bit of water being formed, the brown molecules are the Na plus ions, we're gonna add another five, okay? And once again, we're now getting Na plus ions the pH, if you look on your screen, is now 1,24. The pH is increasing. I'm adding a base. And in fact, we're drawing a really nice graph. Okay? So I just want to quickly just, I want to make sure we're all in the right place. So you've seen, you, we're seeing H2O molecules being formed. These are Na. Plus. These are Cl minuses, which we expected. And we're going to, and now I've got to get rid of this from here. Okay, I want to get rid of the smart thing. Carry on. Okay. And there's still a smart thing, but that's okay. We're carrying it on. We're getting... Uh, sorry, the board's changed. The program's got better. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> okay. So don't worry about the plaque that's carried on. We're going to add some more. Okay. And I, I really like the animation because it shows the little droplets in it. And as we watch, very slowly... Now, of course, we haven't actually added that much NaOH yet. Well, we have. We've added 20 milliliters, 20 me centimeters cubed. That's a lot, and we still haven't seen too much of a change. I want you to see what happens now. Get to 25, and there's a, quite a big increase. We do it again, and look at what happens, okay? Between, and if we look over here, between 30 and 25, there's a sharp increase, because what has actually happened, if we take the time to count, in my <coughs> molecular structure, we've come to a place where the acid and the base are chemically equal, okay? We've reached the neutral point. Now, with this is a strong acid and a strong base, so that means it should be pH 7, okay? Doesn't always happen. This is, of course, a simulation, so things could change. But now watch what happens when I add 5 more moles of NaOH. Now we change it to a base, okay? We've gone beyond the point where it was neutral, okay? We've gone too far, which is why acid-base titrations are so very exact, okay? And it's a real skill, especially when you're doing it physically and you're having to turn the tap on the burette. I know I struggle with it because you've got to make sure the back tap doesn't fall off and all sorts of things. But literally, it takes one drop and your pH changes. Now, I went from 7 to 12,02. That is a huge change, okay? Huge, huge change in pH. If I add five more moles, only a small change. So now we're doing the, okay, now it's just doing its own little thing. Don't worry about everything else that's coming up. But what's happening here 
is that small part is almost the opposite of what we had at the beginning. And if we kept adding in base, we would keep it at quite a high pH. Now let us see how a titration could be applied in solving real problems. Hydrochloric acid neutralizes a solution of sodium hydroxide in a titration. 24 centimeters cubed of 0 0.5 molar hydrochloric acid and 16 centimeter cubed of the alkali is used. Calculate the concentration of the sodium hydroxide solution. Step 1. Write a balanced chemical equation. Sodium hydroxide plus hydrochloric acid react to form sodium chloride plus water. Step 2. Show the ratio of moles reacting, which we know is 1 to 1. Step 3. Apply the formula N equals C multiplied by V to find the number of moles present. From the question, we calculate the moles of acid present, which we know is 0, 0,5 mole. Our volume is 24 centimeters cubed. Remember to change the units of volume from centimeters cubed to decimeters cubed. We now have 0, 0,5 mole multiplied by 0, 0,024 decimeters cubed, which gives us an answer of 0, 0,012 mole. Step 4. Use the ratio to find the number of moles of the unknown. We found the moles of acid to be 0, 0,012 mole. So since the ratio is 1 to 1, the number of moles of alkali must also be 0, 0,012 mole. Step 5. Calculate the concentration of the unknown using C equals N divided by V. Our number of moles is 0, 0,012 mole divided by our volume, which is 16 centimeters cubed. Remember again to change the unit of volume from centimeters cubed to decimeters cubed, like we did in step 3. We do this by dividing 16 centimeters cubed by 1,000 which gives us 0, 0,016 decimeters cubed. We then get an answer of 0, 0,75 mole dot dm to the minus 3. Here we have found the concentration of the sodium hydroxide and our task is complete. This brings us to the end of our lesson on titration. Grade 12s, you will find more information about acids and bases at www.mindsearch.co.za forward slash learn. Remember to try some of the questions in the task video. Goodbye.